Okay, so the purpose of this lab, uh, we're doing fulcrum physics. Uh, it's basically rotational motion and torque. So the purpose of this lab is to determine the relationship between masses and their distance from the fulcrum in equilibrium. Let's begin with talking about, here's what you see here. We got our uh, ruler and pivot point. You see your fulcrum is right over here, where if the meter stick has no masses on it, you should see that these two distances should be equal. Now we can see why is because equilibrium is equal to the summation of, uh, of torque when it's equal to zero. Torque is equal to force times distance minus force times distance with their respective forces and distances. So when you plug in zero to that, so you can see that uh, F1 times D1 is equal to F2 times D2. So when you get into a scenario in our lab where you have uh, two hanging masses where one is uh, twice the mass of the other, you'll see that the lighter mass is twice the distance from the fulcrum. From the fulcrum. And we could see this in our equation because this mass, so it's half as massive, so uh, there's half as much force, so it's one half F1, and then you need to make up for that one half in the equation by adding a twice the distance to D1 is equal to F F2 D2. And so, so when graphing, this is, I set up a set of mock data when doing this experiment. You can see it goes by trial, so your small mass always happens to be about double the distance away from the fulcrum. You see 100 and trial one, 17.9 centimeters to 10 centimeters, trial two, 27 centimeters to 15. Kind of see how the relationship exists. So then you get to the graphs, and you can understand from uh, from analyzing the graphs, you'll see the large the, the distance from the fulcrum of the large mass is um, is always half the distance of the small mass. Where you'll see the slope of your linear graph, which, which it is a linear relationship, will be one half if and only if the mass is um, the mass of the larger mass is twice the mass of the small mass. A lot of mass. So you'll see on inversely. The uh, distance from the fulcrum of the small mass is uh, twice the distance from the large uh, the fulcrum from the, of the large mass, and you'll see that the slope of that graph will be two. So let's talk about if, what if you have an unknown mass, like you don't freak out and hide under the covers. What you do, you have an unknown mass. Oh, wait, this is the same mass as this. Is the un oh, it's not. No, it's not. My bad. So. Uh, when you have an unknown mass, you can use it find using the torque. You can find this unknown mass using the torque equation. How you would do it? You would need to know all the information for one side of the pendulum. You have so now right now we know we have a 100 gram mass. We are setting it at. We see it is 15 centimeters away from the fulcrum. Then we take our unknown mass. And we place it out, further out and out until we start to achieve equilibrium. This may take a moment to find your balancing point, but with a practiced hand, anything is possible. Just give me one second. Class waiting on me, and that's the money right there. Okay, so. So when you take this information that we got from our unknown mass and the distance from the fulcrum, you can plug it in. We know that D1 of the unknown mass is uh, 21.5 centimeters. We know that D2 from the known mass is 15 centimeters. We know that F2 is 100 grams from our known mass times the acceleration to gravity. That's not double grams. That's times the acceleration to gravity. So when we look at our equation, F1 times D1 is equal to F2 times D2 for equilibrium we can just plug and show. So F1 times 21.5 centimeters is equal to 100 grams times G times uh, 15 centimeters. So you'll see that you have, you have a force and you have a force, so the Gs will cancel, and you'll just be left with M1. So all you need to do is divide this 21.5 centimeters over to this side, and your master equation is right over there, which equals 69.76 uh, 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 grams. So, 
check our, to check your work, bring it over to our trusty triple beam balance, and weigh your mass. I'm not going to do that because I know the mass is 50 grams. So you're thinking, oh wait, you didn't get 50 grams. There's some inherent error in this. I mean, you are you're balancing through some error due to uh, due to friction and stuff. Uh, just erase that last part. But yeah, so we're good. 